Hello, bachas. Welcome back to the channel, DF in Physics, where the F in Physics can't be fun. Now, here's a question taken from FM20, paper 2, variant 2, question number 9. Reading out the question for y'all. An athlete with a mass 70 kg trains by performing press-ups with a load on his back. So, in the diagram, you will see an athlete, center of mass marked. You will see the load of which the center of mass is given. The diagram shows the perpendicular distance involved. Why perpendicular distance? Because the question is related to moments. Okay. The center of mass uh, of the athlete is CM and of the load is CL. The mass of the load is 6 kilogram. So if you remember, the question is of moments and the formula for moment is force into perpendicular distance of which perpendicular distance is given. Force is not given. Force basically over here is the weight. And we know the way to convert mass to weight, right? So weight is mass into gravity. Marking out the forces for y'all. So force number one from the center of mass, which is 70 into 10. That is 700 Newton. Force number two is the weight of the load, which is 6 into 10. That is 60 Newton. Okay. These are the two downward forces. Apart from the two downward forces, there are upward forces exerted on the body as well, which is from the point of contact via the arms and via the feet. Okay. Now the question is, what is to be taken as a pivot? The question or the hint is given in the question itself. They're telling you find out the upward forces produced by the arms, which means you will take this as your, I'm so sorry, pivot okay so your feet becomes a pivot now keeping the feet as the pivot let me mark perpendicular distance number one 0 0.9 number two 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 and number three is from the arm to the feet which is 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 plus 1.2 okay so equating all the moments that is clockwise and anti-clockwise if you see the downward forces are creating an anti-clockwise moment. So my total anti-clockwise moment is 700 into, how far is 700 from the pivot? 0 0.9 plus, because this is not only the moment, there's one more moment because of 60 Newton. So 60 into, how far is 60 from the pivot? Uh, 0 0.9 and 1.3, which is 1.2. This needs to be balanced by the moment due to the arms which is some unknown force into total distance is 0.9 plus 0.3 plus 0.1 which comes out to be 1.3 solving this you will get f as 540 newton so your answer has to be c now there is also one more concept that you have learned that your total upward force is total downward force which means 700 plus 60 should give you 540 plus x now where is this x that x is the force exerted by the foot of the athlete okay this is not obviously required just an additional part but this is how you solve this question i hope this question was clear to you all thank you